This is the last video of Chapter 1, Lesson 5. We're going to look at tolerance, which is an application of the absolute value inequalities that you've been working on in the previous lessons. You remember from a previous lesson that we talked about, tolerance is how far off a measurement is allowed to be from the desired. Uh, specifically when we're building things or making things, there's a certain dimension that the company, the producer, would like uh, their object or item to be, but the manufacturing will... Uh, is allowed to be off by just a little bit depending upon you know the item being made and that how far off is a, that it's allowed to be is called the tolerance so a review and some things about tolerance before we actually look at the application tolerance as I said is an application of these now what is tolerance this is the definition it's the difference that's a subtraction word between the maximum or the minimum value allowed that's one value and so you gotta take the min or the max that you want and then you subtract your desired measurement so here you have the maximum minus the desired okay that's a subtraction problem okay let me uh, circle that for you so you see what I'm talking about the maximum minus uh, get it. maximum minus the desired that's one way to figure out what the tolerance is or you take the desired and subtract the minimum that's another way to figure out what the tolerance is and that's if you're uh, a no what the max and the min is in those three values okay um, let's see another thing we want to talk about real quickly is <clears throat> another way to look at tolerance or another way to determine what it is is that it is the it is half the difference okay half difference so that's subtract between the maximum and the min. So mathematically, you look right here, the maximum minus the minimum value divided by 2, that also will give you the tolerance. So in these two sentences here, we have three ways that we can figure out the tolerance. You can take, if you know the maximum, you can subtract what you would like the measurement to be, that will give you the tolerance. You can take what you would like the measurement to be, subtract the minimum value that you'll take, and that will determine the tolerance for you. Or you can take the max and subtract the min from that, divide it by 2. That also will give you the tolerance. So three ways to figure out to the tolerance value. Now, how do we figure out what we actually would like the measurement to be? This is you, uh, a way, again, a mathematical way to determine that. You can take the minimum value that is given to you that you're allowed to have, add it to the maximum, divide it by 2, and that will give you this desired measurement here that you're going to need. Okay, so all three, let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five different, I'm sorry, three different, four, <laughs> I'll get it right, four different little uh, equations that you can use when you're working with tolerance, all right? Max minus desired will give you tolerance. Desired minus minimum will give you tolerance. Max minus min divided by two will give you tolerance. And again, tolerance is how far away from the desired measurement that you're willing to accept. How do you, can you figure out what that desired measurement is? You take the max plus the min and divide that by 2. Okay, so let's look at, uh, let's see, on my next page here, how you determine an absolute inequality for tolerance. Okay, so we said an absolute um, tolerance is an absolute value application, so let's look and see how that works. So visually, this is what it looks like you have your desired measurement. This is what you would like your item to be. Let's talk about basketball. So let's say we have basketballs that are supposed to be 18 inches in diameter. Okay, that's the desired measurement. Now, when you make a basketball, it might be a little bit over 18, might be a little bit under 18. How far above 18 or below 18 you're willing to accept to be an official basketball, that will include the tolerance. So you can take your 18 inches, add in the tolerance, the acceptable difference that you'll take. That will give you the maximum diameter that you'll accept for an official basketball. Or you can take 18 and subtract the tolerance. That will give you the minimum measurement that will accept to make it an official basketball. So how does that look in an absolute value? It looks like this. So you have the absolute value of the actual measure of a basketball and you subtract what you would like it to be, 18, and that difference has to be less than this tolerance number. Okay, so when you're setting this up on your homework, this actually is going to be a vari variable every single time, the actual measure, because this is going to set up a way for someone to check basketballs and see if they're within the tolerance. 
So for instance, let's say we have 10 basketballs that we have to measure, and we know that the desired measurement needs to be 18. Well, we take our first basketball, we measure it, and let's say it's 18.1, we put 18.1 in here, subtract 18 what we would like it to be, we get 0.1. That difference is that within the tolerance, how far off our official basketball is allowed to be. And then you take the next basketball and you measure that. Let's say it's 17.9. Well, now 17.9 goes in here for the actual measurement minus the what you would like, 18. It's negative 0.1. You take the absolute value of that, which is 0.1. Is that within the tolerance? So you can see this um, value right here is going to be the variable in your final answer because that's where you're going to put the actual measurement if you were checking all of these basketballs. Okay, So this is going to be a variable every single time minus your desired measurement is going to be here and we, again we gave you a way to figure that out and tolerance is going to be here and remember there's three ways to figure that out. Okay, So let's look at an example hopefully we're given uh, that uh, a certain, uh, let's see, here it is, a specification for the circumference of a basketball. So the circumference of a basketball has to be more than 29.5, that would be the minimum, but less than 30, that would be the maximum. So write an absolute value inequality. Now, so remember, down here in the corner, this is the, what we need to do. The actual is going to be a variable, so I need to figure out what the desired is. Okay, and remember previously, the desired measurement is the maximum plus the minimum divided by 2. And then we also have to figure out the tolerance. Now, how do we figure out the tolerance? Well, remember, we can take our desired and we can subtract uh, the minimum from that. That will give us the tolerance. Or we can take the max and subtract it. So the actual, as I said, is going to be a variable. This time we'll call it C because that's what they give me. The desired that we can get by adding the 2 and dividing by 2, so minimum plus maximum divided by 2 will give me 29.75. So this is what the circumference of a basketball actually needs to be. That's the desired. Well, how far off can it be one way or the other? We can take the maximum, subtract the desired, divide it by 2, and we get 0.25. So the basketball, we would like it to be 29.75. It can be over or under 0.25, so then we just plug these numbers into our absolute value inequality right here. So we have C minus 29.75, that's the desired, has to be less than 25, 0.25. So again, if we had these 10 basketballs lined up, if we measured the circumference of one, and let's say it was 31, uh, let's say it was 31, is that basketball acceptable? Well, we could put 31 right in here. Take 31 minus 29.75. Okay, I'll get this. Is that less than 0.25? So then we would go ahead and do the, the math of that. And 29.75, uh, 31 minus 29.75 is like uh, what? 1.25. So is 1.25 less than or equal to 0.25? No, so this basketball would be rejected. It's not an official because it's not within the specifications. Okay, so that's the application of tolerance or application of absolute value as applied to tolerance.